Things have gotten pretty crazy in Chicago and Patrick Kane has been at the center of it all. The time was expired, therefore, no more. Just last night, Patrick Kane scored an insane buzzer beater in overtime that I think should have counted, which I'll explain later in the video. And with both the Leafs and the Rangers making big splashes before the NHL trade deadline, Kane has been vocal about his satisfaction by really letting his game speak for itself, as he scored his first hat-trick of the season directly after the Leafs decided to go out and get Ryan O'Reilly, scoring five goals in his last two games and recording his first back-to-back -back goal game since 2019. Now, you can read into his performance however you'd like, but many have suggested that these are his final moments in Chicago and he knows it. This is what he had to say post-game addressing the crowd. You guys are amazing, amazing crowd. You guys are on fire tonight, so we appreciate that support. One thing we can say for sure is that Kane won't be going to the Leafs. After making the O'Reilly acquisition, it just doesn't make sense for the Leafs to move in that direction. However, some still report that there could be room for Kane in New York, as some have reported that a deal between Patrick Kane and the New York Rangers was much closer than reported, hence why Kane was disappointed when the trade happened. He believes that the door isn't fully closed. Kane has also previously addressed his thoughts on the Tarasenko trade, essentially saying that it was a bit of a disappointment when he found out. Now the main issue with moving Kane is his no trade clause which means it's very difficult for the Blackhawks to deal him anywhere as Kane says, if he decides to be traded, he'll be the one to give the Blackhawks a team to talk to and if that doesn't work out, he might just give another team but it'll supposedly only be one at a time. This just makes it all the more complicated and even more difficult for both parties to be satisfied. Now, with regards to Kane's overtime goal last night, I do think the NHL should change its rules to have it kind of like the NBA. If the puck is off your stick before the time runs out, it should still count. But what do you guys make of all of this? Let me know in the comments below. It's Cappy, and I'm out.